Amen. You want to lift your handkerchief and give the Lord a wave offering somebody? Hallelujah. Give the Lord a wave offering somebody. And can you take your seats to heavenly places? The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. Our Lord is good. So wonderful to be in his presence. The Bible says the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. So you can be sure the Lord is with us right now. On that note, I want to say many, many happy returns for all those who are with you for the first time. I want to say you are most welcome. And I'm sure at the end of the service, the woman of God will acknowledge your presence. But for now, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the service. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says we should never stop praying. And therefore, the first item on our program, as usually, we're going to invite the woman of God to lead us into prayer time. Now, Please show some pray. love yeah, for, for Mama, Mama Mary as, as she takes us through the prayer time. Yeah, Hallelujah. You can do better for the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Please. Let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. I was glad when they said unto me. Oh, let us go to the house of the Lord. In the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, 
He said that when we moved to this church, every he will be here with us. And every prayer that we will lift up unto him, he will hear and he will answer it. Now as some more can you know say see two bahaya, ye no mum pai bo, ye busa de beano no radi by ya my abrivian so be shia mono or be by temuaha. So church, I want us to take our prayer sessions in church very seriously. Or see now this lady, I would say, and say, a bridunia bonfire, Yenina Sassafono, Yen Fanny Bresso, because God, who has promised, He always keeps His word. Well, when you go for now or share Bonadia, I bid you all no dinner, Bosch, and so do my amen. Oh, amen. So now we want to continue our prayer and thank God for today. And not here, Twa, Yen Pi Bonus, so yet there, Radia say, and nay. Today is Sunday, and He has brought us into His presence. And Naya Quesia da Homeda, or no rad or Nabba, or the other here to bless you and I. Now, or no, the Abba has said, or no Baba be shrying. He has brought us to a new year, or the Abba Fifu, a new month, Saturday, February, so me for fraud, the first Sunday of February. Now, was swimming on the Quesia day, the kind, and in it. And therefore, be, be, be in expectation for a special blessing. Let's thank God for bringing us together for what He's going to do in our midst today. In this morning service and in the afternoon service also. Shall we lift up our voices? Yes. Yes. And I want you to have that confidence that you will receive your soul. We shall continue to pray. This time we will we'll pray for divine protection over this ministry, over every one of us, and over all our branches and everything that we do. And now we pray for the divine protection over this ministry, over every one of us, and over all our branches and everything that we do. Asafon Krabata Nakan in Yanni and Yanni Bibia Beno, 
You will notice that every Sunday we pray for divine protection. Because it's only by God's grace that you and I are even here at this moment. Now, you know, 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 you in the morning, mm. you know there's a sort of hostility between us and, and the gas company over here. They have been writing letters all over the place complaining about FCC and all sorts of things. Yeah, FCC. But praise be to God, when we had the meeting, the fire service people were rather attacking them for their safety measures. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yes, yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 That is when I heard that uh, the, the wind direction is blowing towards our church in this, in this direction. And then they told them that you have to raise your wall so that if there's some problem, it will, the wall will hit or protect people who are on the other side. Now, I said, 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 I so she just pray for God's divine protection. So whether gas or whatever, it can never happen to Amen. anybody next year. By the grace of God, that nothing will ever happen. Amen. Amen. And our enemies will not have anything to say about us. Amen. Church, lift up your voice. Came for inspection. They came to 
our premises also. Now, I saw them just for you. So, I'm not bad. I share, but I'm not a fear. I'm not bad. I share. And as they entered the church, now, I'm not mad. I'm not a fear. I heard one of them say, "Wow." I see our people here. They say, "Wow." Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. They were they liked us at once. Now, Amen. Amen. They were very friendly. Amen. Amen. They said they will come and visit us. Amen. Amen. This is this. Let's come for Jesus. The Jesus of Amen. 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 This this is the favor of God. Amen. Amen. It's just God's divine favor. Amen. 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 Without God's favor, you can't get anywhere. Church, I want us to pray. That God will pour his continue to pour his divine favor over FCA. Amen. Amen. To give us favor in the eyes of all the authorities in the city. And to give you and I divine favor personal favor in the eyes of all the authorities in the city. Amen. So that wherever we go, doors will open on the Amen. 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 Because you are an FCAC member. Sir, we are FCAC, a Bentsy. Church, let's list up our prayer. Pray for favor. Divine 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 favor.
be a blessing to somebody and then God will bless you. And the highest blessing you can give to somebody is to pray for them. So pick somebody in mind and pray for that. It doesn't have to be your friend. Pick somebody. God knows all of us. So if you don't remember the person's name, just describe that person and God knows who you are talking about. Amen. That sister who sits in the right corner, that near the door, that sister who is wearing blue dress today, God knows who you are talking about. Amen. And pray for that person. Now, I say, I'm going to pray for that person. I'm going to pray for that person. So when you will be a friend, see when you are, but more than you will be, the catcher and say, Ready, young coupon, Minia Bar, Minia Beme, Nia was shot at your way, you will be our tea and Fahani Fano, or Nunya Mia, when you want to send Lunu Kokuma Seminole, when the Munipa Potia, open so bomb pie in a mano, then you are so a bit in pie bono. Church, let's please. Pray for somebody this morning. Pray for somebody this morning. And then pray for your own people. 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 Pray for your in the name of Jesus, I pray that your presence may be with us in the name of God. Holy Spirit, we pray for us. We pray in the Lord. God has a good word from one way. God will find it in us. That we shall live in the heaven. The Lord will be the Lord. He will continue his business, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He will be the Lord. 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 time somebody I'm sure the Lord has something special for us this morning the Bible says you should never come into the house of God empty handed so you want to pick a presentable offer
God bless you. God bless you. Apostle voices. We will not to promote you. And lift you to high places. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. I bring you greetings from Daddy. This As you all know, Pastor Tony Ba, who is at Teshi Branch, is getting married very soon. So he has to present himself at the uh, Future Wives Church today. So he has to leave, and daddy is filling in the gap at Teshi Branch. And that's how come. I'm here this morning. God bless you. Um, I want us all to lift up our hands unto the Lord. To share a short word of prayer. Before the same. Father Lord, we thank you for the lives of each and everyone who is here. And those who are on their way coming also. You yourself, why you have gathered us unto you this morning. And we commit this time to you. And until Rade, a jail bread to say more at the mouth. I've been with us from the beginning to this morning. What can you all, if you fit in a seer, I'll be doing a pain. Prepare our ears, our hearts, and our minds to receive your word. 
message this morning. Yes, 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 this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. And shall all the saints say a big amen. Your seats. Hallelujah. Amen. And I said, Today, our topic for study this morning is how to win the good fight. And pay as somewhere bano, a tipua, a dasuina, and say, Sir Okona Okono, bedding kunim, a woman. How to win the good fight? Okona Okono, said the bedding kunim, papa, a woman tea. I want all of us to open our Bibles to so Second Timothy chapter four, verse seven. Oh, trust him, waha, be a cotimoti woman on your tossum, you know, a tino, a year, a nine, nay, moi, seven, chapter four, oh. verse seven. Second Timothy 4, 7. Are we all there? Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. Timothy Nguma, etoso, eye mienu. Itino, eye nine. Yeah, I want to welcome everyone to this morning service. Na o ma obi biara wo fide mu akwa ba e ba osom ya ye nyina ye wo mu anopai. I thank God that all of us are here this morning. Most of us are here this morning. Na o da ye wira de nyankopon na se se anye be ye mododo na e na wa ha. Because this message is very very important for all of us. Na ni nyina ni se asem a e ba anopai e ye hia de kese e ma obi bia. Daddy prepared it. For all of our branches. Na eh ya safu penino and also for penino and I see as we must have work any. I want all of us to open our ears and our hearts and learn from the word of God. Na Mesra will be be our say, Ube be wa so ube be wa kume mu no we see if you are no yanko po na seven. Now I'm reading second Timothy four seven. Paul said he wrote this letter to Timothy. Mm -hmm. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Na ose makun okupa no medin kunim wo mu na gidie no so makura. Now this letter Paul wrote to Timothy was towards the end of his life. Na aye kra ta ya Timothy e chiro koma aye asafo. Paul wrote to Timothy. E your small for Paul na chiro kra ta koma Timothy asafo no. He was not lying in uh, Kolebu Hospital. He was not lying in a hospital sick room. He was in prison. And we all know that the great apostle Paul suffered a lot during his ministry. A lot of persecution. Lashes, whipping, shipwreck. Um, near death experiences. Na uchwa nechi ma ni suche ma wadi itu kwa ya edru bebi kwa na eme ame ni unu no how bebi enemies from inside enemies from outside. Na atamfo ewa bonting atamfo so ewo mu. All the things he went through maybe most many of us would have found it difficult to 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 go forward. Na ebi ya mu bi eshi ya bibi eti se ayat dia mause ubetu na mwa kwa ni. But the great apostle Paul endured everything. Now, a for Paul, dear, we mean now what funny name will be pain. And at the end of it all, as he was sitting in his prison cell, he was just waiting for the execution to be killed. Now, Emra, now, or what a fiasino or chance of really be do no more be you know, and on Baba Fanako Akukuno. For the gospel's sake, Nina, you may be be as a sempayenti. Because of the gospel, a son, a sempayenti, he was going to face execution. So he wrote his letters. And history tells us this was the last letter Paul wrote. 
And he wrote it to his beloved Timothy. His, his faithful ally in the work of God. She said, Timothy, I have fought the good fight. It wasn't the bad fight, too. There are some fights that are bad fights. He said, I fought the good fight. Church, I want all of us to fight the good fight. Not parents with relatives. But the good fight of faith. He said, Timothy, I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Kept the faith. Uh, this is what God expects of you and I. As Timothy wrote this last letter to Timothy, it was also to you and I. Now Timothy ne krate chat uh Paul Nekrate chat to my Timothy no and wa home mount and home amen so I can imagine that when Timothy Timothy must have read the letter. Many, many, many times over. Now, so you didn't say Timothy Saka Crate, you know, one can't adapt. I did see this thing in our King Kaisa. This sentence, this sentence has become one of the most famous uh, passages in scripture. Now, yes, sir, and since for we are poor, Troy, you know, a barber, yes, some back one, I tip up back one, and what you're saying. And at the end of it all, when you and I have finished our race on this earth. God wants us to be able to tell all this. Sister Ama, I have finished my race. I have fought the good fight. I have kept the faith. We have to pass on the right things to the next generation. God expects this from you and I. Now, 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 God expects this from now in Kenya, someone or our home, I mean, you know, say a best yes, yeah. Today, you and I, we have been revived. The revival is ongoing. Oh, na me no, me no, yeah, in Kenya, in Kenya, yeah, to us. So, this morning, want to learn how to fight that good fight of faith. And now, no pay me no, me no, yes, yeah, said the bear, yeah, back home. Now, when Paul said this to Timothy, and Rap Paul, Educrata, we come out, Timothy Penno. He had also explained how to fight that fight of faith. Now, or church, you know, a chair, no, a quiet, or befasso, a congidie, or copano. Let's go back to Ephesians chapter six. You may trust someone called Ephesus for one, and it's here. Let's give a clap of him to the young fans and bockers here, may radin and copano pay. Ephesians chapter six, ten to eighteen. Young King can be be or Ephesus for one, and it's here, yes, yeah. Me, moi, a year, it do. Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. So God always makes provision for every area of our lives and every situation. And in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 18, God, through the Apostle Paul, describes the weapons that we need to fight this good fight of faith. Keep on hammering on this weapon so that we'll keep on remembering what God expects you and I to be doing. Because without the armor, there's no victory. Amen. Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 18. I'm Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. 
na afi ana na wiye minianom munya den e wa urade nyankopon ni tumi ni mu put on the whole armor of god na fa nyankopon na kutade ni nyina ehye that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil se de be ya otamfo no na ada na na gina tuo no obetimi agina no for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities enye ye ne honam ani moja ene ko Against powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this age. Against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. It's not just some of them all. Take up the whole armor of God. That you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having gathered your ways with truth. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. And having showed your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith. With which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts. Of the wicked one. And no, and our town for no any bonny be our betto at the about so no obetimi a yin in a free hole. And take the helmet of salvation. Never and quite dear about Reno Ebo. And the sword of the spirit. And the whole homo and crantano a crap. Which is the word of God. Ah, a yawa no young copon, not seminal. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Na a bomb pie, empire nina, and cotosiremu, and a being watchful to this end with all perseverance. And supplication for all the saints. Amen. Amen. Now you can see listed here all the weapons that you and I need as believers. To fight this good fight and to win. Afe, wo hu akodi na o si yemfa akodi no enko o kuna yemfa enko o kuno. We mu njia we njia we ya eno be bua o amu o kuna o kuno inkunimudi ebeba. He says in verse verse ten says finally. I'm in verse. I'm going back to verse ten. O si afe no o shasi biem imu ye duno. He says finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. This is the believer's charge. Paul is commanding you and I, we should be strong in the Lord. I'm not referring to, when we say be strong in the Lord, that we are talking about some spiritual keep, keep fit program that you go and exercise so that you can floor Satan. This strength we are talking about is having faith in, in God who has all the power and the authority to overcome all things. So it is not about your strength at all. It is about God's strength. If I, you and I, we cannot stand any demon. The smallest demon, you and I, we, uh, by in our own strength, we can't stand them at all. Now, Christ, I will not say, who name one word in say, dear, and create to me in our town for now, but you be a name, name one of your own home, or some, and now you can. Yes. So the power of God is what is our resource and our ammo against the enemy. And when God says that let's be strong in the Lord, it means that we should be steadfast, firm, determined to go forward in Christ. Yes. 
God is not happy with cowards and women. Na odofu o obi a wo ye ohufu o ana wo ni akukudro de nyame ani nyi ho da biara da. Because it means that he can't rely on you. Na esan se e dru ba bi a wo nyankopon ho tin fa ne ho nto so. At the slightest approach of trouble you run away. E ye o how ka kre bi e be ba na na wo firi mu ana wo adwane. You know we are all human beings so we have fear in us sometimes. Na odofu o ye ye nipa da sani e nya ho ho e dru ba bi e ho. God that we are human. So he says that we should be strong in his strength. Because he is mighty. He made all things. But he says that we should be strong in his strength. He made all things. All power in heaven and on earth and under there, they belong to him. He conquered Satan at the cross. And the Bible tells us that after principalities. He made public show of them. Oh, let's start for Jesus. Now, if you have such a person standing with you, why should you be afraid? If you have such a person standing with you, why should you be afraid? So, church, I want to encourage all of us to be strong in the Lord. And not just have me so be being crying. So, when you are when you are doing a ready Jesus Christ, to move. Speak with boldness. A dress of a casa, casa kukudroso. Because you know who you are standing with. And every word of faith that speaks, the Lord will back it for you. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. Amen. And after you have strengthened yourself in the Lord, then you can now put on the armor of God. And how can you wear the armor if you are afraid? You have to be brave and courageous. This year we want to receive all the blessings God has prepared for us. So the weapons that he has given to us, we will put all of them on. And unti akuta diye biya na akudiye biya nyami diya she yambono esi efeni nyina she. Amen. Amen. Now who at all is the believers? Now, we are talking about the good fight. Fight, fight, fight. Who, who is the enemy? Now, one cranny GD for a town for ye Casafasa or Con and Toqua or Con and Toqua. We said God is God of battles. I believe I can say the battle is the Lord. Or Connor and Yango Ponaco. But who is that enemy we are talking about? Or town for Ben Cranny, a can of one semi. It is Satan. A e bronsam. He's the enemy of our souls. Or no, any a crayon or a town for. From the very foundation, he hates you. Because you are saved. You are saved. You have a beautiful future ahead of you. And he is excluded. Where you are going, you can't come there. So what is his agenda? To do everything he can to prevent you from going. To do everything he can to prevent you from going. But because God is with us, <laughs> and because God is with you, you will make it. You will win that fight. You will win the fight of faith. Amen. Amen. Now, Satan number one is our principal enemy. Don't underestimate him at all. Don't take him for granted at all. In fact, hellfire, hell today is full of many, 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 many Christians. It's, it's not only unbelievers who are in hell. Though. Don't make mistakes. Many, 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 many Christians also have been deceived. Hellfire. Amen. Amen. But not you. You there, you will not be deceived. Because the Holy Spirit will keep on reminding us what to do. And we will continue to stay alert in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, the demons also are our enemies. Oh, as for the world, the unbelievers, uh, Satan's chief strategy is to let them think that 
the devil doesn't even exist. Na eya anya ni efo ne de. Bronsam no efro o mani a kire o mo se. O mo no eya bronsam de mu no eni ho bibie ni ho sa. There's nothing like Satan, there's nothing like demon. Bibie ni wa eya bronsam, bibie ni wa ya ho ho bone. There is nothing like hellfire. Bibie ansu ni wa eya There's even nothing like heaven. When you die, you die, you finish. So enjoy. When you die, it's all over. But it's a lie. But it's a lie of the enemy. So our enemies are Satan himself, the demons, Na, and then also the strategies that the enemy uses against us. Oh yes, Satan is not worried about those people who are uh, unbelievers who are in the world. They, they are, he has conquered them already. But it's you and I that he's targeting. Na no cross me we muni say bron samre di ani ani efo ye wi asefonde ne ni nku omu essence onde we nyu omu dada ne mu minu mie nuno aye ye chidi fo no ene ne ni wo yeso. And so we have to be very, very careful of the wiles that is the tricks of the enemy. Uh, but so unfortunately, many a time you see that Christians, we Christians, we who are, who are people of the light, sometimes we behave as if Satan is our favorite uncle. Na osi abrini abrini na yeye Christo fono yeye hain abrini na yewo hain mo. Hello. Hi. Am I speaking to somebody here? Oh, so they don't go to church. Now, oh, wow. We were there last week and all the revival you came. Now, what you hear, Mono, over sorry, and Kenya and Sumi, and Oko, and Nina, and Peter, and I. So, we are out to Musa, what Pomona, and what didn't you? What break? Have you seen that headache that started? One who said to pay and run at your shower, see. Rest, rest. Home, 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 home. It's not that this miracle service. Are you been coming? Ah, miracle service. No. They are finished morning service. You are tired. This is going to rest more. No. And St. Jennings, walk, 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 Hello. Aye. And that is how we listen to the enemy. Now, when you cry, I'm in the room, you see, I have a time for no. And it's able to entrap Christians to do the wrong thing. Now, when you cry, I'm not so assume a GD for. Oh, what is wrong with this man? Now, only power we and I bear my dear granny Hano. No, he's okay. You can marry him. Bibi Hano. Oh, yeah, the four. Oh, yeah. baby, he that's what no. he's doing. Well, okay, now he's a very decent man. Look at how he talks so nice and gently. Now, oh, when a juma or you'll be a cassaboko, he's not basa basa. He's not basa basa. It's okay. On your dear, or you're not your basa basa. Oh, no, listen to those people. And if you follow them, you won't marry you. Who do a much? I won't worry. These are the ways enemy talks to Christians. Now, we and the choir and Paul said, I'm so careful of the wild. Of the enemy. And no for say yen she ye or tamphone and not to cranny or the benim. The other day, one Sunday we came to church and a friend of a very dear friend of mine visited us. She's not here, but now and then she visits us. She's a Christian, all right. No, our sequence here there be no bad sorry. A madam for be our year Christian. And her dress was up to here. Here. Her skirts, her dress, it was up to here. Now, I said, Oh, why, why did you bring some cloth to cover yourself during the miracle service? Now, she said, Oh, 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 She's a Christian. Christian. She's a Christian, all right. Christo ni Baba. But the dressing was not a Christian. So Satan mm. has many ways and tricks of deceiving you and I. And into a temple, and I'm going to do a brace. What did you think that you are doing well? Now, why do you say you are living in rebellion? Name of areas of your life. Well, bravo, move from bed. But I have to be fashionable. Now, why do you say a year and in a year, 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 and in a
So if I put on blue cutters, what is it? Some for just a problem. Nah, me the cutters say blue come and one. I didn't know how from so be. Ketan is not your friend, though. Brown Sam, on your down for. Be careful. Let's clap unto the Lord. Your boy and Sema will write Jesus. Your friend in our man, Jesus. Your friend in our man. Hallelujah. Amen. So now these are your enemies. Well, and the trees well, are many and varied. Well, it can and be something to do with also. money matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. 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 We shall be putting on the armor properly. Amen. Oh. Amen. Uh, they said, Peter. He said that Satan goes about first self and Peter goes about roaring like a lion, isn't it? No, see Peter, no man. No, I can be with us. Brown Sam, no, on the name. I will bomb say Jata. Looking for who he would. Be able to catch. Na, mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Satan, he roars. He roars. You can stand there. You can hear the roar. But some, many a time. Do you know how the lion hunts? He roars quietly in the bush. You won't see him. Now, see, you just said, Jata, Nasi, Bo, Nam, Kwaya, Siawe, O Nam, Boko, O Bampa, Uno. When he's hunting for prey, he doesn't make noise, so. He was softly. While we are standing here, he will pass there. You think he's going somewhere, but it's because of you. Now, who has said no? Not any other. Why do you buy yourself half phone or come on now? So, who are you now? So, if you are uh, an antelope who has lost guard, now who are who are a year or two? Now, what day do you know? And the Christian who has lost guard. Now, Christiania, the ni na ne onso. You are just standing carelessly before you know it. When you be bad, also no, he creep on you now. Oh, we are ever with distance, and then he'll pounce now. What was our twash also? Oh, you know, it's too late when you be bad, also no catch it by the time you come out of that trap. Now, I'm son of a free self, you didn't want to have lost many things. Now, you never be actually, but church, FCC. It will not happen to anybody. In Jesus' name, let me clap up your hands. Yeah, my and some of you, my will write yes. Now, I want us to look quickly at Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse three and four. In terms of yen we be current to form man at us me no no. Iti no aye do. In chichemo a aye mi ensa eni nine on kwa. Second Corinthians chapter ten. Current to form man at us so aye mi no no. Iti aye aye do. Ni mo a aye mi ensa eni nine no. Is everybody there? Obi be aye do. For though we walk. We walk in the flesh. We do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for na, pulling down strongholds. You see, here Paul is telling us, the Holy Spirit is telling us that we are, the war we are fighting is not a physical war. Na Paul and our grown grown culture say, "Oh, come on, you know who you who say you queen." It's a spiritual battle. E who who mo asem? And the weapons that God has given us, they are what mighty. Na akundi na onu nyame di ama yedi kuna yedi edi. They are spiritual bombs. When we throw those bombs, they bombard the enemy. Then they have to flee. E who who mo e ye ituo kesi e a etua a wamboni ni jani. So we are commanded to take up that armor. And when you are saying, "Says how could I do any fancy?" It's not whether you like it or if you like it or. And your bra ope, and now so we are men. Because we are soldiers of Christ. And when you know, yeah, yeah, it's Christ who asks us. Are you a soldier? We are Australian. If you are a soldier of Christ, He's commanding you. So we are Australian. I will show you say. To take up your armor. For what could I do any fancy? Of the armies of heaven. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the captain of Israel. And he's the commander of the saints. 
that are here in heaven. And what if for I was a citizen or so no? So if you, are, if you are you are sure you are a child of God. So would you depart so you can go on a bad They know that you are a soldier in the army. The dika no so we are strengthening. We always think, and if the soldier falls down, hey, in the army of the Lord, he will rise. Yes. Amen. Amen. I like that. Yes. Yes. Let's clap for you. He will yeah, rise again. Say, man, we'll rise. Yes, a, yeah, a soldier the verses that he will rise again. Well, a no on sloshi or no dear a you woo and quon or sorry see anya air bano. Now we'll go back to Ephesians chapter six and go through the weapons and see how God expects us to apply our weapons. Now, a beam, young call Ephesus of one man, it's here, yen, see, and yen, shall contadino, and our condiano, send ya, a debit to my alpha. Amen. Amen. Now, verses fourteen to sixteen list the weapons. Now, in where you do nine, and you could see Dunciano, a cacana, a trotro, a year, a codiano go. Now, these weapons we are talking about, uh, it's not to be today you wear it, tomorrow you take it off. It must be one day. And yet, and a show. Verse 14, it says, Stand therefore, having gathered your waist with truth. You know, when he says, Stand therefore, not sit. Not, not, not lie down in the sofa. The Bible says, Paul says, Stand. Therefore, Paul said, sorry, and unti. Having gathered your waist, well, a what they about was seen with the belt of truth. In fact, in fact, Jesus Himself is the truth. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Now, Jesus Christ, no, or so many crying, no cre, and then qua. And if you walk in the truth and you speak the truth, you please God because it means you are worshiping Him. Oh, no, no cre, no, 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 to be known in your neighborhood or in your workplace, in the market, wherever you operate at, as a liar, is not, is not, it does not glorify God. Oh, everybody knows you. Oh, as for a queer, hmm, she says something, don't trust her. She's a liar. It's, it's terrible as a Christian. Now, mm. so your Christian, who be one no casa, and now be casa, is who we dear, who be no one a trunk one. To be a truthful person, honest person, speak the truth is very critical to your witness as a child of God. Now, other four, so you and me be, I bring you, I bring you, no crack and no head, and also me, I want no a can of creno. No, we, we, especially here in Africa, always say it, telling the telling lies comes so easily to us. Now, I see what I see. So, I know a true channel. I am remembering I be before Africans. I be before it comes so easily to us. Yeah, a true channel. But it's a sin. And when you tell lies, yeah, Satan is the father of lies. Then you are straying into his kingdom. Now, I believe I'll be trying to know. Bron, some are throwing in a jar. No one can answer. Amen. Amen. Now, if you didn't come to church on last Sunday and your sister me says, Oh. Why didn't you come to church? You don't have to tell a lie. Oh, I, I went somewhere. It's not necessary. I had a headache. But you know you just didn't come. That's all. I didn't come. I'm sorry. But um, now you say you've seen me today. Just speak the truth and shame the devil. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, I see the you I'm sorry. I didn't see the truth. I didn't see the truth. And they said, they went to me. I'm sorry. You have to answer. I'll be telling you. I'm not going to tell 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 you. Now what you're saying, remember. Let's learn 2019. Now if anybody has that problem with speaking the simple truth, we are putting it behind us. Hey. Amen. Mm. And going forward, speaking the truth. Now I bring you, I bring you, you'll be a widow at trap. If I to achieve, now I fear with you, shall see a canoe cray. Amen. Amen. Let's clap unto the Lord. Yen fans and bomba will write yes, you and my ensem, and my ensem, and my ensem, and my ensem. Have you sewn my dress? Maybe you're a seamstress, you're a tailor. Oh, Olem. Have you sewn my dress for me? Oh. And I, the dress, I, you promised to sew it for me before this program or other. Oh. oh, oh. You, can't, you can't, you don't know what to say. You know, I had to go to somewhere. Oh. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, I'll do it for you in the next three days. Three weeks later, oh, no, 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 no. No, you are not glorifying God. It, it's terrible. Let your yes be and your no be no. Don't take somebody's material and keep it for one year. Say you are sowing it as a seamstress and you don't do it. Now you come and stand here and you lift up your hands. Hallelujah. You are just joking. You are joking with Christ and you are joking with yourself. Now, also your the pamuni na ebia unu ebia no bi na dia bro ese pam ma no. Oni pa no dia dia ne bro wo no wan timi am pam oba so o we dia me timi me timi pam yo na wo twi mienu achi na nsan chi no me pam ama wo. Na wo twi mienu achi wa ba ebia o pam ye. Wo nso unu me se eni pa no dia tare no be ko ba bi atare no so adio nchen sa. Ebia wa ba sori o be ma on sa so wo to aye ye nyum e se wrade dia no nyam. Am I speaking to some people? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I receive it. Now, Paul says that secondly, we must put on the breastplate of what? Righteousness. Now, Paul can be a tossum and say, Yemfa, a year, a chemon catabo, and cataya bosso. Having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Now, you did that, dear Ethne, in Catabo, Akataya Bosu, Vieno. What is righteousness? A dear Grand Ethne, they're just doing the things that please God. Now, so and, yeah, they're saying, and the things that please God in the Bible, not hidden, it's not some secret. Everything is in the Word of God, which we hear day and night. Now, be being where you're in Tassem, Nina, what trust him. You just have to ask yourself, this thing that I want to do, does it please God? Or it doesn't please God? Before you take that step, make sure that everything you are doing pleases God. Now, the breastplate in the Roman days, Paul was writing in the days of the Romans, the, the soldiers, they wear this armor. And the breastplate covers the vital parts of the body, the heart, the lungs. Those places when the enemy is able to hit you, you can die. Na, so they use it to protect their chest. Eh yeah, eh chemun katabo ya, eh yeah, osuma for poor kan wanse mi. Sabre na ye Roman ya sa for no, eh na no no amu na muti, no no shia so eh de kan eh, eh no no de kata ubo a, eh kata unye wakuma hon, eh kata ubo a bibi a sedi, amu tu bibi tiawa enkan. So righteousness is very very vital, a very vital armor. Of the Christian. Na trene e ya de wun ya e ya kodi akese e ma o Christo ni biya. If you are a Christian and you are a smuggler, it's not practicing righteousness. So. Na u yo jidi ni na u yo sisi for ji obi adia e ni adia e ya trene adia e se Christo ni ye. If you are a Christian and you have shops, you are, you trade and uh, always your prices are different from everybody else and you are cheating people. Is not righteousness. So. Because you want to maximize your profits. Or you sell Gary in the market, then you pad it. Because that's what everybody in the market is doing. So you always said, you to you pad it. So that the Gary is half. But you are charging full price for it. Is that not righteousness? Or sister, be out on Gary. Everybody is doing it, so what's the problem? But when you are a child of God, be ready to be different. You, you must, must stand out. Yes. You must shine. Yes. Yes. Your light must shine. Yes. For the others yes. to see. Yes. And learn from you. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, yesterday we went to have my my son's engagement, David. And uh, so that there's a certain young lady who should come here about once or twice. So they are going to get married. So we went to do the engagement. Oh, let's clap on. In fact, the whole thing is actually a miracle because we've all been praying that the Lord will lead him to meet the right person to marry. And that we can see that that is exactly what God has done. Amen. You, you, you remember the teachings uh, Daddy has been giving us about
about um, these ceremonies, our traditional ceremonies and customs that always attract demons to come and sit in to try to put their hand into things and spoil people's um, marriages and so on and so forth. Now, see, you know, you know, say, hey, Papa, I didn't say, see, my said, yeah, yeah, be before your mamre, any your money, etia, funny, said, yeah, 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 so what, before going to meet the family for the first time, we prayed that when we explain this to them, they will understand and not give us list and family things. So we prayed. And when we went, it was a miracle. They, they just accepted. They said, they, what you are saying, doctor, what you are saying, we've not heard of it before. And everybody does it too. If we say we won't do it, they will say we have disgraced the family. But because you have said it, we will do it your way. We will not give you any list. Mm -hmm. And they never gave us list. We just took our own gifts that we wanted to send. And we had a very lovely time. We told them that we don't need busloads of family members. When the wedding comes, then they can come. But this one is a special spiritual exercise. So there's no need for people. And they complied. When we went, there were only a few of them. So I say that I've, I, 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 I realize that, you know, when you want to stand in the light and do the right thing, God supports you Amen. and he goes with you Amen. and gives you success. Amen. So a word to our ladies and our gentlemen who are planning to marry. Let's do things the right way. And God will support you. And God will give you success Amen. and favor. Amen. And, you know, after the program, many of them said, to come to your church. Amen. We we'll organize ourselves and come and visit your church. Amen. We've not seen this before. It's so beautiful. This is what we will do for this person. This is what I will do. When it's my turn, there was a young man that said, when it's my turn, I will do the same Amen. thing. Amen. So it glorifies God. And when you please God, ah, what is it that you don't, you need that he will not do for you? He will give it to you. Let's clap on to the <laughs> Now, another weapon is sharing the gospel. Now, I could is to share the gospel. Yes. Um, it says that having put and having shod your feet, verse 15, having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now, I say, oh, in Isaiah, the prophet said, how are the feet of those people who are bringing good news? Now, I hear Isaiah, Witnessing is not to be taken for granted. Though. Church is a weapon that helps to defeat our enemy. Every opportunity you get to share the word with somebody, do it. The feet with which you walk to your neighbor's house. To go and pray with him or her. To go, to go and encourage that person. To share a word with him or her. This is how God looks at those feet. He says they are beautiful. He, he said, said the feet are so beautiful. It doesn't matter if you are wearing chalewati. It has nothing to do with designer shoe at all. Or Italian shoe. It is the spirit with which you are going there. And, be and because you are going to share the gospel, this is the very reason why Jesus came to this earth. To, to save mankind. Now when you go out there, to talk to somebody. So what to an ah, the angels rejoice. And God is happy. And your feet are so beautiful. Don't you want your feet to be beautiful? Please, this 2019. This year, we will do things differently. Not business as usual. When somebody comes to your shop, share the word with them. It's true that you are looking for business. But after you've done the business, say something to encourage the person. Share a word with them. Put some stickers in your shop. 
so that they will know that they are a child of God. And uh, God will bless you. And God will fight those battles for you. You will be fighting the good fight of faith. You will be fighting well. And you win the battle. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, I receive it. Now, the next item is the shield of faith. Is the shield of faith. Now, the shield of faith in the Roman days was a long, we all know shield. You, you just, you hold it to protect yourself. Now, the Roman soldiers, they had those long shields that can cover your whole from the ground to your face. So even when he's holding it, you can't see the face. Now, a Roman person, a Roman asra for any person, a year chemoa, if you form a basro, thinking a siesa, a crawa, ujina baby will be in who be who when him. And they move together in unison when they are going to battle. Well, they say, stand close to each other and everybody holds up their shield so that it forms a block, a blockade against the enemy. Well, I'm not it's we could turn it there, we could turn it there, we could turn it there, and they, all, and they move in step one. Now, I'm more a quiet woman, I'm a to when they are coming back, they come back home with you. I'm a bomb with you together. Now, when the enemy fires their arrow, and don't you or time for not to a giant be a normal day, the arrows come and hit the ship, and fall off. A giant bar, not Baba Pim, a yet chairman or not to form. That's how they protect themselves. When you quiet, I'm a fast of cork. Now, there's a gap in the in, in the shield. One, wow, a chairman or a quam Baba Demusa. You know what happens. So if somebody is not diligent and leaves a gap, and arrow pass through, and hit somebody, and cause a casualty. So the shield of faith is having total trust in God. As a church, as a fellowship, we are God has called us together into the family of God. We are soldiers, we are together. And we should stand together. So, so when the arrow is coming, we all lift it together. And we, we, and we, we block that because the arrows will come. They, they will surely come. The fiery dust, they are coming. And when we stand together as children of God, and we are one, and we are praying, and we are worshiping together, it means our shields are up like The enemy can pass through. No way. can pass through. So what the enemy is trying to do to our sister, Belinda, some of us have lifted up our shield. We can't get here. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you holding your shield well? This morning, I'm asking, are you holding your shield properly? Maybe you are, you are here, you are not talking to somebody. You are gossiping about somebody. You are God gap. You are bringing the gap. Please. Please. This 2019, all those things we are putting behind us. Let's put on the armor well. That armor of faith. Don't leave God. Don't leave God. I don't know why this person, when I greeted her this morning, she didn't mind me. So I to when I wanted to sit here, then the usher said I should sit there. Uh, I didn't come to church two weeks. Nobody called me. You see, the church ground won't go there again. We are opening the gap. I won't talk to this person again. Why did she say this to me? Now, I didn't think okay, some of you say to me. The thing that Papa 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 was preaching, it was me. It was somebody nah, that was talking about. Papa me. Can, you know, me, so why you come to church like this? Oh, but sorry, why you so? You are angry. Because somebody has annoyed you. Yes, so be yes, you are treated. offended about everything. Nah, bring Every bring small thing you are offended. I bring you, I bring you. Hey, yes, your is a spirit. Nah, that is trying to push you out. The house of God. Don't give offense chance in your life. So somebody didn't greet you, so what? Somebody said that you have won this dress too much, so what? So what? You didn't come here because of that friend. When you called her number four times, she didn't pick the call, so 
My friend, if I'm not friend, I'm friend, I'm one fat in today. What has that got to do with your worship of God? Nah, no, and come with Christos. Stand together. Yeah, you know, you know, for a home. You're angry at all with your husband. Now, who will be a funeral? Then you come and sit here. You have opened the gap. Now, I'm a quiet about them. Please. Let's stand together. In the house. In the church. Wherever you are. Let's stand together. Let's hold the children. Everybody hold your children. Satan can get through. That is how to fight the fight of faith. That is how to run the race. And that is how to keep the faith. So that someday. When God meets us. And we say well done. Say mo. Well done. Mo. Well done. Mo. Well done. Mo. Well done. Mo. And Hallelujah. No, no, no. Amen. The other next weapon is the helmet, helmet of salvation. Now, see, the helmet of salvation. And Taking the shield of faith, which will be able to quench the fiery dust of the end, then take the helmet of salvation. Amen. Hey, this, this area of the head and the helmets of salvation is a very it's a very dangerous area. Now say you you see that the mind that is the battleground of the enemy. That is where the battle starts. And Satan's work is to try to influence you to do the wrong thing. Now, when we bring somebody, we do media. We do this. I bring, I bring. I bet that that was she was my idea. The morning, go on. He wants to influence you to be negative minded. Nina, I say, I bring. I would say, I am a bunny. But she was dreaming. So that you can't go forward. So that he will stop you from finishing your race. So that he will stop you from finishing your race. Then you become broad, you can't fight the fight again. So we have to guard our minds carefully. The Bible says, put on the shield, the helmet of salvation. And protect your mind. That when the enemy throws the arrows, you can replace it. Now, when the enemy throws the arrows, you can replace it. You can block it. Amen. Now, you, you see that the people dangerous jobs usually they wear helmets they wear helmets like the, like the construction workers you see that when they are going they wear helmets now among your construction you tell me some more call baby aqua you baby are almost the chem catabo shinity because anything can fall on your head nina and they say one share yeah i did be better my boat to so the police people they wear helmets. So they wear helmets. Firefighters, fire they wear helmets. Why, why do they wear the helmets? To protect themselves. Because when something is the head, it can be last call for and you. No the head is so precious. So delicate. delicate. So, so, so they protect their head. How much more you, who is a child of God? You have to wear your helmet of salvation. And, 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 and keep it on. If Satan will come, Satan will come. The demons will come. And they will say, "You guys, you saved." Now, who are you saved? Are you saved at all? Ah, are you sure you are saved? Oh, this program you are watching, you watch all the time on television. I am watching you. Now, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, you may do what you may do with TV, the, the arrows that set aims and throws at your mind. Now, when you near me, be a blunt. Some people did can't they about what you might be dear grandson. Have you forgotten that thing that you did? You were fed the hour yet that way. You stole. You stole that money. Now, Sikana, I'm open. Now, you know who we are. 
Now you have come to sit here. You say you're a Christian. I feel what better now. I say, oh, the one so a Christian. Are you sure God has forgiven you? Now why do you say your mother child here? You have to guard your mind. I should know what to tell the enemy. Church, this morning I want to tell you that you are saved. I'm assuring you that you are saved. Auntie Esther, you are saved. You're saved. You're judging that you are saved. It doesn't matter what happened in the past, you are saved. And found in your Guard your salvation. Oh, yes, you are saved. And oh, Bambo. And there's nothing Satan can do about it. Paul said that of all the sinners in the world, I am the worst of all. Now Paul said it. By the grace of God. It's just by grace you and I are here. It's not because of anything that we have all. Or are. No. It's by grace. So you tell the enemy that I'm saved by grace. I'm saved. It doesn't matter what I have done. Jesus has forgiven me. I'm saved. 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 I'm they will be bombarding you. Uh, you, you are you are asking God to give you a job. Hey, you. Look at what you did that year. You lose all your confidence. But church, you are saved. Your name is written in the book of life. Be bold to ask the Lord what you need. And he will do it. Yes, he will. 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 Yes, he it's not full of people who are perfect too. Now, oh, so you said you're not to say they're ma. perfect. Now, and yeah, oh, so yeah, ma, and ma, 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 imperfect people like you and I. Now, yeah, 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 you pay your crown to sell one of me. Grace. I am a drummer, no, the idea. Yeah, you can clap for me. Yeah, fancy a book. I see my own right issue. Am I on some? Am I on some? Now, the one very important weapon also, or ammo that we need. Is the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit. Which is what? The word of God. The word of the spirit is the, the, the sword of the spirit is the word of God. Even, yes, the word of God is important too. Every day, that is asking us those who don't have Bible, that try to invest in the Bible. As long as you are eating three square meals a day, you can buy a Bible. If you don't have a Bible now, still don't have a Bible, buy one. It's very important so that you can also read the Bible, study the Word, and and let the Word grow inside you. Now, also, I said the Papa Kano, oh, I know you trust them more. It is not good enough that you will come to church and you'll be looking into another person's Bible. And a Bible that you read, oh, as for the tablets and their mobile phones and so on, please. That's one you can do it privately, but in the house of God, please read your Bible. Use your Bible. So you can mark things and you can read fair and you can go back and forth to study the it's study no. Instead, we have to study the word of God. Not just read some small, small bits, then you close it until next Sunday. You must make it a daily practice to study the word of God. So, a bit soon, Radia Semadani, Dania Daco, and we're soon at Noaka to me now, which you know, Noaka for, and you know, No, Jesus himself used the word of God to defeat Satan. No, yes, Nankasa, which now, and you're me, Samson, who did bring Samson. After his father, the Bible says that Satan went to him to tempt him. Satan had the nerve. To go to just tempt him, how much more you and I? We are nah, nothing to him at all. Aye, or no, yes, we are come to you and Obron Samnangasa, a corn in Chenko, sorry, and I mean, no, me and no, any pain, so yeah. How much more you and I? No, me and no, any pain. And what did Jesus use to defeat him? Now, yes, we did not the word of God. Or did you mean something? The word of God. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God. Then God, Jesus replied, it is written also. Now, Bron Sam said, yeah, true. Yes, you said, what true or true, say, when you say. If you 
don't read your Bible. How would you know what to say when the enemy strikes? When Satan says, you will die, will you not be looking for the Bible? Hey, now you will run. <laughs> No, that's not how to fight the enemy. You should know your Bible. So you can, you can reply, reply at once. You should know. When Satan says, I, you will die, what should you say? I will not die. I will live to declare the glory of God. It Amen. is written. It is written in Psalm 100, you say. And the enemy will know that you too, you, you have your weapons on. Amen. Yes. When the enemy says that you, you will not amount to anything, you will be faithful. Like you should know what to say to counter it. So the word of God is our defense and it's also for offense. We should be able to attack the kingdom of darkness. Amen. We should attack. We should be able to attack him also with the word of God. Please, I want to appeal to all of us. Let's make start to, from today, if you are not studying your Bible and you, or you limit yourself only to daily bread. I have daily bread. I love it very much. I read daily bread. But beyond that, you must have a Bible study routine. You can start with anything, any Old Testament, New Testament, but you start, you read. I read Matthew, you read Matthew, you read Corinthians. Oh, let me go and read First Peter, Second Peter. Slowly, the word of God will be getting into you, getting into you, and you wouldn't know it, but you become a spiritual, what is the word? Giant. A spiritual giant. A spiritual missile. Now when you fire like this, they have to scatter. Amen. Oh. Amen. Please let's read the Bibles. It, it is the only it is the weapon, the only weapon God has given us with which we can also attack our enemy. The other weapons we use to defend ourselves. The other weapons we use to defend ourselves. But the the word of God is the weapon that we can use, we should use our enemy. So when you are sick, then you, you know what word to say. Because Jesus is my healer. So yes, I'm healed. Jesus my, my sickness on the cross. So I'm healed. Yes, in the name of Jesus. And these words are fire. They are fire in their camp. Your child is not doing well at school. You will know what to say. You will know you will know what to say. You are having a problem with the co-tenant. You will know what way to issue. Now, Please, let, let, use our weapons well. Use the weapons of the Bible. Use the weapons of the Bible. Every one of them is very important. And the word of God, the Bible says it's fire. And when it, 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 it hits, it explodes, and the enemy has to scatter. Amen. Amen. Let's clap unto the Lord. Amen. 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 Now, I think the last but one is that we should pray always in the spirit. Now concerning the word, the, the, the word of God being the sword of the spirit, can you imagine a soldier going to war without a weapon? Now, was seeing a mere summer young cranta yako de deco or slenny oko unguta could be an hour. Is it possible for a soldier to go to war? No, a idea or slenny bit me a cock or unguta a good idea. It's not possible. It means see that. Now, if it's not possible in the physical world. How much more the spiritual realm? Because the spiritual realm is even more real than the physical. What happens in the spirit realm is what manifests in the physical. Now, Amen. Amen. Now, the last ones are we should pray always in the spirit. And we should persevere. In the spirit. To persevere, to continue and continue and continue without ceasing. Somebody has said that when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. 
Something from the shop. Maybe you want to go and buy some glasses, drinking glasses. Then you just go and stand in the shop, just looking around. Nobody will mind you. You want to buy something, but you are not saying it. You don't say a word. You are just standing to look at them, expecting them to come and ask you what do you want. No, nobody will mind you. So when we go to the shop, don't we point to things? I want this thing. I, I want this size. Do you have this color? We we talk to people. We talk the assistance and they help us to get what we want exactly. Now how much more when you need something from your heavenly father you, then you keep quiet you don't say a word. You will not get anything. Hello? Hi. Let's learn to ask God. Let's learn to ask Let's, when it is more difficult then we, 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 we seek that we seek God we seek him in his word, we seek him in his prayer and supplication and then we knock. Pam, 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 pam that is why we go to all out so that God will hear. Now, or see, you see, a quire, a person will be said, Raddy. Now, you boom, near and Amen. 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 So, just to conclude, I would like, I want us to remember that God's Rima word to FCS, it is awesome. God has said many awesome things for us to us said that if we have patience, but there are conditions. He said if you have patience and you walk in righteousness and you walk in the truth, these are the amos. He's mentioning the amos. You walk in righteousness. You walk in the truth. And you are patient. And you do the right thing. I will bless you. I will bless you. This is the word of God. So I want to encourage every one of us here that we need to put on that armor. There's, there's nothing there's nothing else we can do. You cannot say the armor, I, I wear one and leave three. You must put them all on together all the time. Always together. Every weapon is important. It's not some of them. It's not pick and choose. This is what I like. This one, I don't like it. So you put it down. That You will not win the battle that way. But we must win this year. This year, we are all winning. We are expecting mighty, mighty testimonies. Amen. Great and notable testimonies for every single one of us. Amen. That is what God has promised. And he's just waiting for us to, to put ourselves into position. So church, I want to encourage every one of us to be, fit, to be, to be serious in putting on our armor and keeping it on. Now, I see now somebody my in Christ say, you know, and say, you know, you know, you say, you know, you know, you know, he says that when we do these things, then he will make us a beautiful land. Do you remember? He said, I will make you a beautiful land. Nah, you know? So the revival that you have just finished, it's not finished though. Nah, it's just yeah, finished yeah, physically, yeah, but it's yeah, ongoing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's ongoing. Yeah. I want to encourage all of us to take our spiritual health also very seriously. In fact, your spiritual health is more important than your physical health. It's very interesting the way uh, we all run to hospital and look for medicine when we are not feeling well. Sometimes when I'm at the office, somebody will come running. Daddy, daddy. My neck and my hair and there, and they go to actually drama me. They are very anxious to be healed. Now I say I do, but you know, office wa. I feel as if I'm only be the makeup ba. I have so far me hire me ya me ti me ti apo ti to drama me. Oni jidiye se oni a drona obenya na yarisa. Even including, I have not been able to sleep for one week. I don't know why, but I can't sleep for one week. Can you give me something to help me to sleep? So even those, all those things are important to us. Our physical health is so important 
What about your spiritual health? The spiritual health is even more important. Too. So the care with which we have, we take care of our physical bodies, let's apply it the same care and more, higher, higher level to our spiritual now, health. Day by day, from time to time, ask yourself, am I running the race properly? Am I fighting the good fight? Ask yourself. Do an audit on yourself. Am I, doing, am I, am I fighting the good fight of faith? Am I keeping the faith? Am I holding it properly? May you ask God to help you. To stay on track. You may stay into other lanes. Friends are given to everyone of us. We have to run well. As for the starting, it's important, but it's not as important as the finishing. Am I finish well? We must finish well. That is what God expects of you and I. And he has given us all the weapons we need. So that we will finish well. So that at the end of it all, we can stand in the presence of God. Amen. 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 In that courage. And you see what God will do. He says, I'm going to bless you. Nobody has seen it before. When people say you, they open their mouth. You say, hey, is that you? Is that a rama? Wow. Oh, yes. That's what God wants to do in all your life. Wow. Amen. 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 Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm hot. Tomorrow I'm cold. When we see you today, tomorrow we'll see you. Because you are now walking in mean, arm with Satan. He's not your friend. He's your enemy. Let God help you to recognize your enemies. Sometimes they come as friends. But they are your enemies. May God give us grace. That we will always to identify our enemies. And then we put on our shield. Hold our shield very well. We put on our helmet. And the belt of truth. The breastplate of righteousness. Our feet. Shod with the preparation. The one that says, let's go here. Then I cannot go there. I'm a child of God. I won't go with you. You are my friend. But I will go with you. In the name of Jesus. And when we do these things. Ow. Ow. I don't know what to say. The, the glory will be coming up. I can see that God is preparing. Just waiting for us to stand up. And do what we should do. And you will bless us. And you will bless us. Hallelujah. And shall all the saints say a big amen. 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 Shall we stand up? I feel you know, you're sorry, you know, words of prayer. Obey to me, you know, I'm sorry, you know, you're a bomb pie. Titi, yami, yabe, so, wo, titi, yami, yabe, so, wo, say, yawe, yam. Obia reni o, Obia reni o,
So God should help us today. You overcome that. Say you overcome that weakness. God should help us to overcome that weakness. Help us to recognize it is a weakness. Sometimes we have a weakness, we don't even recognize it. And even when somebody tries to point it out, we get angry. Let us to humble us. Any area of our life that is not helping us to put on the full armor of God. Today we put it, we leave it behind. And move forward. Shall we pray, church? Yes. 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 We know as more than we know ourselves, Lord God. We need that to set as the Lord has made the Lord. We know fruit and every fruit that is blocking us in the name of God. In the spirit that has made us fully blocked to us, Lord God. Lord, we know your way, Lord God. We know that, Lord God. Lord, the fruit that we have scattered in the name of the Lord. Lord, we know that the Lord has made the Lord God.
Bible is chapter one. Say, "Yami boy, say, ane enyo." Na ye ni pa na ane di yami mi amoye. Oni do ni yami. Our last prayer that we will ask God. Yem pa boy chapter one. We say, "Ready." That the blessings He has promised to give to us. In Shrebia, we say, "Yami boy, we pray." He should let us receive it. Ono ready. Emo ye ni insan kani. He should let us receive them this year. I want every one of us to pray and ask God that particular thing you want Him to do for you. Now, be, 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 be specific. That thing you want God to do for you. That thing you want God to do for you. Ask Him. Ask Him. That that you have put on your armor. And He will fight for you. And let it come on for you. That you will receive that blessing. Is it? Is it a word that you have to do? Whatever it may be. Is it a baby? Is it marriage? Is it accommodation? Is it financial blessing? Whatever it is. It is not beyond the Lord. He is able to do all things. He can and he will do it. Lift up your voice by faith. Cry unto God. 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 Cry un
ni yeye ni sendi kwa kati ya mpenyu mfupi ya omo tumefunga kanka kwa na msi o o papa na wo on sadi akọ unya no msi omo nkọdi akọ na msi sadi amekọ ti we na me fure mi sister pe na me ka che ni se sister se na ma kọ ka che mpenyu mfupi o nti de ebe nse ye nkọ so de bi me nkọ se me ma mi nka ho pa de a me nkọ na msi o mate na wo ko na me ma me se se wo ko na se bibi ya wo a nko ana obi eni o mo be ka ho nko akọ na me se yo ma ti yesu din ti shi ni o ma e be ye me amen nti we na tuesday ni me ba da di ho me ba kan se bai wan ba ntem ti me ntumi ehun no ti ye pon ye na o fre me ba prayer request ti ye pon ye no na da di fre me na me ko ka chere no so nya me ka me ho de me be ko no ni me abasu me ashilisi amen ntumi na ka ya ko fo ye no ka me ntumi nfo e be po ntumi nfo ma e be po so nti we kan ye kwa na ka no o wusa be po na watete asa na echi na mi se ira de wo ka me ho na fami ko na fami brasu ndue mu ye du be bia sa na ka na ye na mi se ira de bo me ho ban na fami ko na fami bra ma bi bia ntumi ni me busu ya ko be ma no ko ko su ko ja me ma bi bia isi ya nko brasu ndue mu me de nyame ase se wa bo me ho ban one me akwa aba a bo ni bia isi Amen. Me do e ye na tsu ya won won se. Omo mu guo ni na se. Eh, ke chire wo na wa ba ye da wa se wa te nyame nyira o. Nyame nyira o, nyame nyira o, nyame nyira o. Ye ni shi ni ho ma ye be ye o. Wo kan ye won wo ye ye ba. Se se wa ba nyame nyira o se we be si ye o papa. Na me jina ha me da nyankopon ase. E wo ba mbo so nko wa bo me. One me akọ one me aba. Me da na se. Amen. Amen. Shall we give clap of honor to the Lord for his protection over us? Ye de nyame ase e ma ne ban bo. Shall the rest of us stand up. Afi obi bia ka wo dem aso. All of us who are sitting let's stand up. Wa wo dem a wo. Let's lift up our voices and thank God. Original one also. Be we are not the radiance. The radiance that na say the na say the radiance. Yes. Be we are not the radiance. Thank the Lord. For his mercy. And yes of the radiance. And nam ne shira. And ne ban bo so ko a wo dia ma o. The radiance be we are not the one can be be the radiance. They are there say we are now why am I when they Thank you for your faith. Then I say a man in the power of us. We are not we are not be rich and ready they are there say then I say then I say then I say. And you are ready now over for Thank you Lord for what I'm going to do. They are there say they are there say they are there say. We are not can be rich and ready and no pay then I say you know yeah. They are there say when you are my own. Thank you for the life of me. They are there say the plans will go so. They are not ni and they do have a room and they will room. So we are the new young Danasi, 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 Danasi. We want to love Jesus. We call it now. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Shall we clap unto the Lord? Afi yama ya se ma se se we are the new young. It's now time for tithes. Now who are not paying? Who don't want to show the Dubai? If you if you brought your tithes unto the Lord, who are they want to show the Dubai? Are they sorry for that? It's another very important weapon that we have. Yeah, akodiya kesiya ba kwa. We need to defeat the enemy. And no, it. Yeah that was it. Yeah that was it. Yeah that was it. Yeah that was it. 